Hello everyone, welcome to RNG University. On tonight's episode, I'm going to play a deck that I constructed myself called the Let Me See That. Uh, it's not a good deck in any way that I believe, but it definitely is one that uh, I will have a blast with. Because this deck just it basically steals our opponent's stuff. And, you know, we're going to do that with cards like Siphon Inside, cards like Decadent Dragon, uh, and also cards like uh, From the Invasion of Archivos into our sideboard, cards like Breach the Multiverse. Right, that's kind of the idea that I initially had with this deck, but eventually it kind of uh, fleshed out into a very removal heavy deck for today's mana game. So most of the cards in the deck is just removal, but with a little bit of stealing your opponent's cards. That's kind of the idea of the deck. Uh, and we also have Invasion of Archivos to kind of get some cards from the wishboard, and maybe they will help us out in this, uh, certain scenarios. So let's look at the, uh, the deck uh, first. In the early game, we have two cut down and two torch the tower. I found that cut down isn't that useful in a lot of decks because you know what happens with our opponents? They're just gonna pump their creatures, especially mono red. They got that stupid uh, the, the the burning roll card, uh, the monsters roll card that gives them plus one plus one on a creature, which means that a lot of times we can't actually cut them down anymore. Uh, but torch the tower sometimes just dealing that three damage can get us can push us through. So uh, that is why it's in a deck two off each. I want to see how well they can do. Then we also have uh, four go for the throw. That's for a short kill and three parasitic grasp. I found that the parasitic grasp actually helps a lot against decks uh, that are aggro. Thalia uh, comes to mind. Uh, Mono red burn comes to mind. A lot of those decks run human, so we can deal three damage for two mana and gain three life. But honestly, I feel like this card is a miss opportunity. I think it should be a one mana spell with cleave that does three. Or the cleave that costs three, right? So the one mana spell should be deal three damage to target human and gain three life because I don't think it's unfair to have a one mana spell that deals three damage to gain three life on a human. Uh, but you know, wizard does wizard thing. They don't want to design card that's good against aggro. Uh, we also have four Riveteer Requisitioner. This card is really just there for a blocker, but also get us a treasure token to help us push it out a little bit quicker. Our game plan. Otherwise, we can also blitz him out to uh, hit a. Hit a Planeswalker. Should that be necessary? I'm not sure how often that would happen, but it's in a deck for that. We have four Siphon Insight, of course I said, as I said, to steal our opponent's cards. Four Bloodhounds End to uh, Board Wipe. Uh, three Big Score to card draw and also try to get treasure tokens to hit our deck's game plan. Right? We have four Decadent Dragons to uh, steal our opponent's cards. Uh, the three mana instance is called Expensive Taste. Uh, we exile two cards on top of our opponent's deck and we can play anytime. Not just this turn, anytime. Uh, and basically, we, can, we have to pay the actual mana to play it. So that's what all the treasures come from. Uh, but then Decadent Dragon can also come in as a 4-4 flyer uh, from the non-adventure side, from the creature side. Whenever it attacks, we get to create a treasure token. Not that great of a card on the creature side, but really we want to cast the expensive taste. Then we have a 5-drop. Well, we have two 5-drops. Uh, two are Invasion of Archivos for wishboard cards and two Burn Down the House for a larger, larger board wipe. Uh, and then the land base, we are pretty controlled. These have 26 lands. Even though we only have four five drops, I feel like the land base are probably necessary. So we got one Otawara, one Talking Numa, one Swamp, one Mountain. We do have Talking Numa because we kind of have creatures, uh, so it's fine to have it in the deck. Uh, we have no mountains, so we got a, a lot of red mana from the other lands. Four Shipwreck Marsh, uh, two Underground River, uh, four Shivan, uh, two Shivan Rift, four uh, Storm Carved Coast, four Haunted Ridge, two Sophia Springs, and four Xander Lounge. So you can see that we have four of each of the slow lands and two of each of the ping lands. We don't really have a lot of life gain other than the Parasitic Grasp, so we got to be a little bit careful with that. Then in the, uh, in the sideboard, uh, for the Invasion of Archivos wish board, we actually have one Negate, one Witness of Future, one Devious Cover-Up, so that we get the the slow grindy combo against uh, some of the slower decks we can definitely kind of recycle our whole deck we got one alchemist gambit in case we want to you know take an extra turn and if we're getting the alchemist gambit chances are we're trying to flip the invasion of archivos to get the founder uh the invasion of uh, invocation of the founder can double uh, cast our spell and if we can double cast the alchemist gambit we basically take two extra turns that's pretty good uh we got one the end uh, if our opponent's playing a lot of planeswalker heavy decks or we know that they have Shieldred, we can always DN their win con, uh, just one that's on the sideboard, because that's not the main thing we're doing on our deck. Same thing if our opponent's an enchantment heavy deck, we got one farewell, they might think that we're Grixis and we can't handle enchantments, guess what? We're gonna have a lot of treasures, and then we might be able to farewell them with our treasure if we need to do that. 
Uh, we can also use Siphon Insight on their lands. So get white lands and then fair all their board as well. That might be something. Uh, and then one Breach to the Multiverse if they're a Traxa deck. Breach can definitely hit uh, their Traxa and then get all the cards that we want from both sides. It's kind of the idea of the deck. Uh, of course, it's a very greedy deck, so I don't know how well it will do in today's metagame with everything being so aggro, but... Uh, I've tried to play this deck on my own twice, and one time I got no wins out of like six games, and then the other time I won like three or four games in a row. So I have no idea if it's just the, the variance, the shuffler, the matchmaker, the way I play. There's a lot of things that could go right or wrong. Let's, let's find out. First, our opponent's Jack Frost, and uh, in typical arena fashion, we're going second with only tap lands. Oh, we got, we got a little fast land and a grasp. Maybe. Uh, not a great hand, but I, you know what? If I mulligan, I would just go into a worse hand. So, Alright, so they're gonna Dahlia us next turn. That, that's fun. That's what I always want to play against. Turn 2 Dahlia. There it is. Not a cut down, but at least we can play. Guru Cathar. Add a line. Um, I don't really want to kill the Adeline. So I guess we'll just take it. Uh, does that extra treasure actually help us? No. Well, I do want to kill the Adeline. I'm just saying I can't. The extra treasure won't help us in any way whatsoever. So we'll just pass turn and wait to the attack phase. Block the Adeline. We take the two. Take a lot. We get a treasure. Deal. Three damage to the human. Alright, torch the tower. We can deal two damage to Thalia. <laughs> That's, oh, this is, this is a terrible board uh, for us. We can kill the Copper Coat, then what else can we do? Alright, we can Invasion of Archivos into... Actually, we can't Invasion, we have Big Score. Uh, 5 mana Big Score into a 2 mana Torch sounds really, really bad. And then we will only have 5 lands ne next turn to basically do nothing. So, I don't know. We can Torch the Copper Coat. And then we'll have three mana left. We can't really do much. So we're going to have the big score here. And hope that we don't die. We'll probably die though. No place. Did I have a one mana count? Did I have a white counter spell somehow? Wondering Emperor. Uh, okay. Do an irresponsible response to a big score, I guess. Just underwhelming. Uh, that's. I question your motives on that. Remember your training. Double big square definitely doesn't help, and we can't really torch the tower on the copper coat. So I guess six. All right, is it going to be a dead car? Like it always is. No, it's not a dead car. Wow, amazing! I am such a good player. I'm gonna burn down your house. A boom, and the emperor too. Now they're down to three cards. We got a torch, which should be able to handle their last card. Uh, Brudo Cathar. Pass turn. All right, uh, requisitioner. Do we play the requisitioner? I said we play our dragon first. Actually, that's an instant. We don't have a land this turn, so maybe we play the Requisitioner? No, well, we're, we're gonna play the Requisitioner for sure. And we're not gonna play anything else? I don't know. I guess. It's still risky. Intrepid Adversary? How is he gonna pump? One. We just burn that off, right? Yeah, we just burn that off. None of that. 
Nice pumps. Attacks. Does he... Okay. I don't... I don't know if I agree with that. But here's a dragon. Nice aggro deck you got. Uh, Alright, we got a planks. We can play their recruitment officer with their planks. Hilarious. And we'll do it. Um, they probably have a Bullet Guitar, right? I think that's what they're aiming for. So maybe we'll play this. What do we get on a sideboard here? A farewell isn't that useful. The end? Give me some card draw. And this is gonna tap us out. No, let's not do that. Put out two creatures. There's no, there's no way they can handle two creatures anyways with their deck. Bullet Guitar. What are they gonna target? Decadent Dragon? No. Do they have just two Verukathar? Ossification. Okay. So, guess we'll big score our land out of the way. We'll probably draw another land anyways, right? We drew all the removal, so there's that. No, that's not the right thing. Human. You're gonna have a two on that. Is he gonna use it? Alright, make your decisions. We're at nine, so... I don't know if they can kill us that fast. Ooh, okay. I guess they want to play this game again. Keeping one red up. That's interesting. Alright, let's invade. What can we invade to? Always cyborg. Uh, none of these are really good card draws. Guess, can I breach into anything here? No, right? Let's just get our farewell. And I want to cut this down before it gets mana to untap, so... Planes. Play your card. Yes. Hey, into it. One, two, three, and die. What the? All right, another big score. We'll just pass turn and go to nighttime. Does he play anything? He plays nothing. If he plays nothing, I'll, I'll get rid of my goal for the no. Nah, it's fine. He has no haste in his deck. Oh yeah, uh, look at those lands. Look at those lands. Ooh, that foundry is a little bit scary. But it's not like Go for the Thor could have gotten that foundry, right? Let's get rid of all enchantments. Do I care about graveyards? Oh, I don't think that deck brings things back from a graveyard. Whereas an I can breach the multiverse. Nah, I'm not breaching the multiverse. All creatures. Maybe he's holding an ossification. I don't know. I think I think the whole thing doesn't matter as much as long as we can hold up our Brotherhood's end. That car has, has stick? No, it's probably Demetrius Foundry. Eater of Virtue. Interesting. Uh, whenever Equip Creature dies, exile it. Uh, see, trading for my dragon? I mean, I'll do it. Interesting. 
interesting choice there. Copper coat. Alright, uh, we get a Riveteer Requisitioner. I think we'll just hold on to that. We'll not hold on to it, but... Hmm. What does it have? Plus two, plus zero. Flying. Okay, so it gets all those power-ups, but... How good is drawing a card here? I can draw a card next turn the same way. Right? Going one card deep isn't really that helpful. So, I'll just block. If he has a Brutal Cathar, I can actually remove both. Does he want to attack? No attacks. Alright, uh, I will attack, and then what do we do? Block? Not block? Oh man. Can I stop drawing lands, please? I drew four cards, all four, three of those four cards are lands, so... Oh, that's a really good draw for him. Gets two draws from this. Siege Veteran 2. Oh boy. Okay. You just want to trade that off without your Siege Veteran? Ooh, that's a... That's a fancy card that we just drew. What do you have in your deck? Because my deck doesn't seem to be failing me. And Interpret Adversary. That's that's life game. So... Hmm. He's probably going to get card draw from the uh, recruitment officer, right? It's pretty bad, but... I'm going to have to eat it. Draws one card. An adversary. Can I actually kill the adversary? I don't know. I can get bigger than his adversary, I guess. Brutal Cathar. Okay, good. Not great, but good because I've been holding this for his Brutal Cathar. Nice top deck, by the way. Attack for four. Is he not playing anything? I don't know if that's correct, but it might be from his perspective. Does he have a stick? There's nothing sticking here. I don't know. Oh, uh, the stick was the card draw. Why didn't he draw a card? That's weird. Okay, so I can't attack with this anyways. Um... I'll play a land. I might need to play a land, and big score is not going to happen twice. So... Adversary? Seven five. that's pretty big. How big can I make this? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to need that double casting. If you don't mind. Now, I can't wipe the board, but then I'm kind of... I Wait, this doesn't wipe the board. I keep my deck. No, I don't keep my decadent dragon because the adversary would die. So, guess we'll risk it. Does he top deck the fourth Brutal Cathar there? He does. All right. Well, you know, sometimes when Shuffler wants an opponent to win, uh, they will give it to them. Oh, that was a long game. That was frustrating. We drew lands every time, and they draw Brutal Cathar, and that's just. I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of the game, you know. It also teaches you on when you play Arena not to play fun decks. You should be playing aggro decks. Because 
If all you care about is winning, why would you try to have fun? Just disgusting. Would Breach the Multiverse would have been better for our deck, that game, instead of Farewell? I don't know, who cares? Opponent goes first, again. This time we really only have tap land, so... Three tap lands in a row. Oh, two tap lands, and then, by turn three, we will have a land that's untapped, and by then we will already be dead. So, let's, let's do it. Chunger? Oh, mono red. Oh, you don't say. Swiss Sphere. Very fun. You are... You are a king amongst men. With your Swiss Sphere turn one play. And now a scoundrel. Well, at least we got a cut down target, so... There is that. We take one more. I mean, that cut down was probably not warranted because he gave me a squee here, but I need to play it. There's not a squee. He's gonna play something else. Buff the whole boar. Burn me. I mean, who has fun playing this deck? Oh my god. I, I, I'm getting just tilted looking at these losers playing the same deck over and over. Yes, you lightning strike. Yeah. Good job. You, fa you found the line. What do we do here? Do we Brotherhood's End? Do we Grasp him? Grasp him isn't that great, because uh, we get to kill one, and then we'll take whatever damage coming up next. Maybe he'll turn to Mishra's Foundry. That does take up his whole turn. No, he's got a four mana spell. No. There's a foundry. We take the two. And since he's doing the foundry, I don't know if I want to play the requisitioner. Does he have buffs on a foundry? Let's find out. Um, let's see, what can buff it for two? Two monsters roll. It was not two monsters roll in his hand. Alright, another grasp. So. Play a repositioner and just kind of hold it, hold the line here for a while. Five mana, what do you got? Bloodthirsty adversary. Face! Oh, you're gonna regret that. Uh, was this... Was there a reason why I can't... Oh, it's a vampire, that's why. I thought it was a human. Interesting. Anyways, let's just cast three. You think it will block? Interesting. But I need it as a blocker, right? So, let's just cast it for three. Kill the vampire. I need my life back, please. Thank you. Couldn't risk a pump. Another Bloodthirsty Adversary? Yeah. Does it have another Lightning Strike in there? No. There's nothing else in there. Attack block. There's my treasure. I'm gonna spend that treasure and steal your cards. Thanks for the cards. Ooh, a Squee! I'm not playing a Squee, but I got a Squee. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna Kumano. And we're gonna burn down your house. Would he have two blockers? Two attackers? He might, right? He might have a squee. Gotta attack somehow. Mishra's Foundry. Alright, our card gets pumped, so let's play the card that gets pumped. You wanna turn the foundry live? 
Do it. Block. I don't know why you did that. All right, he has a pump spell, which I mean, I guess you can do that. I'm perfectly fine lowering his land base. Uh, okay, our opponent is out. Chunger. I don't know what he's doing. He's drawing one card a turn, and he's not closing. I'll also draw one card a turn from your deck. Thank you for that. Play with fire. Hmm. Can use another one. He's really not getting any creatures through to play with fire and go for the throw. So good luck. Let's steal another card from your deck. How do you like getting burned? Who a Felden? I'm gonna be nice. GG. Here's Felden. There's more than 10 damage on board. Oh, he was nice enough to let us at least go through it with the damage. So there we go. Uh, thanks, Chunger, for letting us kill you, I guess. I still don't like you for playing Mono Red, but at least you have enough grace to not just rage quit and rope. But there's that. Alright, so this is what my experience was like. It's very high, very high variance. Is that, is that a better way to say it? It's just... When it comes to the draws, that really decides on whether we win or lose. Because this deck definitely can have some monstrous draws. And it's not a crazy deck like one of those meta game meta decks that uh, has turn 1, turn 2, turn 3 just blowouts. But when you have good enough of a draw to sustain yourself, you start stealing from your opponent's deck. And that's when the fun begins. Alright, we got untapped lands and go for the throw. So this will be fun. Maybe? Let's see. In enforcing enforcing Pluto. Interesting. Oh! The interest has waned on the fact that our opponent is red. Just another one of those games. Misha's Foundry. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Did we just kill that? I guess. See what they do. Felden. I don't know if I want to just kill that, so. Guess we'll just take the two. Wait. No, it is my turn. Okay. We'll steal your cards. A Phoenix Chick. Those are not the cards I wanted to steal. Guess we'll play a. Phoenix Chick can't block, huh? Can I deal 4 damage in one attack? Well, guess we'll find out. Siphon could get us... We'll take it to 2. Monsters roll time? Furnace Punisher. Ow. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Only Lens. Uh, another one of those games. So, I can siphon him. See what I get from his top deck? I, I don't know. Can I get any good cards from his top deck right now? Where I can just steal on his turn? Because I don't think this matters. Well, I get a treasure if I attack. So I guess... Let's see if I need that treasure. I don't need that treasure. a very scary race. If this gives me a treasure, and I can block the furnace. <sighs> Man, this is such a bad hand. Just lands all around. 
All right, this is going to decide it. If I attack with this, I get a treasure. I can't use the treasure for anything other than pump the Swiss Sphere. Dealing damage to himself is pretty fun. Uh, he is just all attacking. Not a human, right? Phyrexian warrior. I can get a Felden. We'll trade Feldens. Can't block with Felden, so we'll trade Feldens. I guess this is, this is terrible. He gets two cards: a land and a, a adversary. Okay. I guess he wants to play the land. Now he has more lands. What can he do with it? I have more lands too. He has a Felden. And an adversary. Guess what? I have basic lens thanks to you. Oh my god. How? Just. Just stop it. Stop it, please. Come on. My god. Deck, you're embarrassing me. Actually, it's not the deck, it's the shuffler. Uh, have we... We have not drawn anything other than lands this whole game. We have to go over the door opening hand. We had Deccan and Dragon. And then, literally, the only cards I've, we've drawn... Where is that going? On the Raiju, huh? Wow. Just, wow. Can I afford to take four here? Oh, uh, this is a menace. Right? I wasn't blocking with a one, two anyway, so if that's the case, can I afford to take this out? Uh, I'll lose my creature that way. No. So I take seven, I go down to four. Yeah, go down to four. I don't take damage, but I draw... Alright. That's magic for you! Only lands! Oh, oh, only lands deck. You like you like my uh, 59 lands and one go for the throat deck? Yeah, it's so fun. We've drew more non-land cards from our opponent's deck than we've drew from our deck. One of our spell had flashback. That's how we got... Three cards from our opponent's deck. It's just I can't I can't handle I can't handle the salt here. It's real. All black mana, all red spells. Yeah, let's do it. Not going to matter. Spara headquarters. Nothing I play is going to matter in this game. Up the beanstalk. All right, he's already drawing cards on turn two for me. Um. Probably gonna lose this game. This is gonna be a very heavy control game that we're gonna lose, so. What do you got? Something good for me, please? Ooh, a dissipate. That could help. I don't have blue, though, but maybe eventually I will. Yeah! I heard you like Brotherhood's End. I heard you like red spells! Remember the last game where we drew all lands? This is the reason why some people just quit arena. Okay, they can't handle the salt. I'm gonna steal another car. Lay down arms or a plane? I'm gonna take that planes. I don't think you have creatures. Lucky for you, I also have no creatures. Wandering Emperor. I am the Emperor of Kamikaze, and I keep watch for intruders. Yeah, go wide. Let your play do the talking. Alright, if we don't draw a mountain here, I'm just out. 
In fact, if I draw nothing here, I think I'm still out. Okay, yeah, that's... You know what? Fine. That's it. I'm done with this deck. I'm done with this game. I'm, I'm done. Out. That's it for today. Uh, as you've seen, in the last five games, we had one game that had a fair draw, and the rest were just... I don't know what that was, but... Yeah. That's this game, right? That, that's how you play Arena. Uh, let's talk about a deck, shall we? I don't know how much I can talk about it, since every game we play, we're just horrendously... Like, somebody is putting their boot on our whole face. I, I don't know how to say it. This deck is fine. Go take this deck to, like, a, a FNM. Oh, did they still make those? But go take this deck to play with your friends. You're going to have a lot of fun. You can steal cards from your opponent's deck. You can uh, play Decadent Dragons and see if they wanted to kill a dragon that makes treasures, right? If you like Magic, this is a fun deck. If you want to play Arena, this is not. Uh, obviously, those two are diametrically opposed. If you like Magic, you would not be playing an Arena like us, uh, Masochists. This deck has all the answers on the sideboard. This deck has all the lands, so you never, uh, you know, get mana screwed. All the red mana that will make sure that you will definitely get the... Red spells that you're playing, right? We have no islands because we don't really have blue spells. But no, we got two shipwreck marsh and two underground rivers in that game. I don't know how to say it. This, this deck is supposed to be fun. It's got a lot of stealing your opponent's cards in there. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. I honestly feel like this deck would be really, really fun uh, to play. A, you know, like if you like play Magic, this deck is really tricky to navigate and not only are you thinking about your deck you're thinking about your opponent's deck and that's where a lot of the fun and magic does come in unfortunately though on arena you're just gonna get slapped around by people cheating the game and people play mono red because they don't have a brain all right so that's all i got for you today thank you very much for joining me i'll see you guys next time in another edition of the salt continues